Hey everybody, it's now time for the children's sermon. So if there are any kids around, now's a great time to come over to the television. I'd love to have a moment to worship with you. Hey boys and girls, good to see you today. I hope you're having a great, great week as we move into the month of December. This is also a new month in the Christian year. It's not called December, it's not called winter or fall, it's called Advent. Advent means that we are preparing for the coming of Jesus, right? When does Jesus come? At Christmas. Yeah, I know, everybody's so excited about Christmas. I get excited about Advent just because it means we're getting closer. Well, one of the people who talked about Jesus coming was a prophet named Isaiah. And Pastor Julia is going to share more about Isaiah in a few minutes. But I wanted to take a minute to explain what a prophet is. Have you ever heard that word before, prophet? Prophet, P-R-O-P-H-E-T. Kind of a funny word, prophet, prophet. Sometimes people think of a prophet as like a a fortune teller who can tell the future. Um, And prophets sometimes do tell the future. But the main job of the prophet is to speak the word of God to God's people. Okay? Can you say that with me? To speak the word of God to God's people. Speak the word of God to God's people. That is the role of the prophet. Now, there's a different leader um, way back in Old Testament times uh, that's kind of related to the prophet, and that is the priest. The priest speaks to God on behalf of God's people, okay? So they have kind of the the exact opposite motion. So the prophet speaks for God to God's people. The priest speaks for the people back to God. Now, how does one do that? A prophet, that makes sense. They probably preach and proclaim God's word. What does a priest do? Well, how how do they speak on behalf of God's people back to God? Well, one of the ways is through our offering. Um, That's a way that we give back to God. That is a priestly thing to do. So we've got a prophet and we've got a priest. The prophet speaks for God to God's people. The priest speaks for the people back to God. But there's a third leader in the Bible, a third type of leader. We've got a prophet, we've got a priest, and we also have, can you think what it might be, a different kind of leader in the Bible? It's a king. A king. Now, king you're probably familiar with, right, from fairy tales and from Disney movies. A king is a ruler over a group of people, okay? So the prophet speaks for God to God's people. The priest speaks for the people back to God. And the king is the ruler over a group of people. Okay, does that make sense? We've got a prophet, a priest, and a king. But I'm going to give you a a big question. Which one do you think Jesus was? Was he a prophet? Was he a priest? Was he a king? Did he speak on behalf of God to God's people? Did he speak for the people on back to God? Or did he rule over a group of people? Which one is Jesus? You know what? He's all three. He does speak on behalf of God to God's people. He does speak to the people back to God by taking away our sins. And he rules over us all. He is our Lord. He is our king. He is the one that we follow, right? So he's all three. He has all three types of biblical leadership. That's our Jesus. And so whenever you hear those words, prophet, priest, or king, I want you to remember that Jesus was all three. All right? Let's pray about that. Holy God, thank you for sending us Jesus who speaks for you, who speaks for us, and who rules over our hearts. It's in his name we pray. Amen. Thanks, boys and girls. Have a great week.